And welcome back to Ozarks Live. The AIDS Project of the Ozarks 17th Annual Red Ribbon Ride is this Saturday. But this one is not going to look like any of the other ones that we have seen before. Lynn Meyercourt and Wade Shelton are taking a few minutes now to Skype with me about how this is the 17th-ish ride. This ride is actually virtual. How does this thing work? So this is, um, like you said, it's called the ish ride and because everything is completely different than what it normally is. Um, you know, sometimes when you're in conversation, you said something like ish, you know, and that's pretty much what this is. So we're calling it our 17th ish annual ish Ozarks Red Ribbon Ride ish. Uh, and so what we're going to be doing is live uh, on Saturday on APO's Facebook page. Um, myself, along with my two team captains, um, will be here in the conference room with me, and we will be riding stationary bikes from 9 a.m. until noon. We will be doing that for three hours, and we have different things planned. We'll have some guests coming in, um, social distancing, um, but we will have some guests coming in, um, talking about um, the services of APO, um, also encouraging people, weather permitting, uh, to get out and go ride their own bikes around their neighborhood, um, our route maps are up on our website so that they can do those. Um, and most importantly, we're, we will be encouraging and asking everyone um, to go to the website and make a donation uh, to APO. And I know that you have some short routes and then you have a route that's as long as like 70 miles for the people who really, really do this. Um, Lynn, what was it like for you guys to have to shuffle around and come up with something? Because I know that this particular fundraiser means a lot to APO. This is our largest fundraiser of the year. And, you know, as things have evolved over the last few months for, for everybody, especially for nonprofits right now that, that have events planned, um, we're just fortunate to have Wade and he's a very creative guy. And he and the other committee members said this is going to go forward. And actually the name, the ish part of the name was inspired by Tom Turk the last time we were in your studio because we talked about a 10K-ish. And so we just <laughs> ran with the whole ish idea. Um, it's not practical to reschedule the whole thing because who knows when things will be normal-ish. But um, <laughs> it, it just is, is working really well. And um, my hat's off to Wade and the, and the team. Well, I, I actually remember that conversation when Tom mentioned that because, you know, not everybody is up for uh, 70 miles or a 10K or whatever it is you're doing to raise money. And some people may not do it because they're afraid they can't meet the challenge physically. So this is everybody's opportunity to tell their friends and family they really can't do anything with them on Saturday because they're doing a 70 mile ish bike ride for a local organization so see there you win either way um, now the t-shirt every year the apo uh, red ribbon ride t-shirt is a big deal much sought after i understand that people who take part this year can also get a t-shirt correct that is correct um, to receive this year's uh, t-shirt uh, it's a 25 dollars minimum donation for that um, so for every 25 dollars you get a t-shirt um, donated um, or given back to you, I should say. Um, and then you just let us know what sizes and we will, we will order those. I will say that the design is very uh, timely and unique. I'm, I'm quite confident in saying you will not find uh, another event t-shirt that reflects the current times as well as this one does. Gotcha, okay, so if people want to take part donate, um, grab one of those t-shirts, but also they can log in and sort of virtually ride along with you guys, but it's also going to be um, a matter of a learning experience here, learning things about APO that you may not have known. How do they do that? This is all gonna happen on Facebook? Yes, this is gonna happen on APO's AIDS Project of the Ozarks Facebook page. Uh, we will go live at 9 a.m. and we will stay live. Um, technical capabilities standing until noon. Um, our website to make that donation is www.ozarksredribbonride.org. Um, and that is where they uh, make that donation. And we will be uh, kind of like in the old days of the MDA telethon. 
we will be having uh, live numbers coming in to us um, from our webpage, letting us know where we stand and how much more we want to do. Uh, we have a goal um, that we would like to raise uh, $10,000, um, if at all possible. And the best thing about that $10,000 is one of our amazing sponsors, um, Matt Cosmetics, um, is going to be matching this year, again, dollar for dollar of everything we raise. So if we could raise that $10,000, we could easily turn that into $20,000. And um, that is much needed money uh, for the client services uh, here at APO. And we will be having, excuse me, guest writers as well. Oh, Very entertaining. Uh, and, and folks will be interested in seeing guest writers. I so they'll understand. be here at the Got Social it. Social distancing. Of course, social distancing. All right, we will rely on our technology. We will social distance, and we might even go out and do a little ride of our own. But either way, we will be able to take part and learn something. Lynn Meyercourt and Wade Shelton from APO, AIDS Project of the Ozarks. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on Saturday. Thank, Thank you. you.